third way to get this integral. We are going to uh, push this into the dx. Yeah, the derivative of sine dx is cos dx times the derivative of this is t. But if you look carefully, this t there's no b, so you have to divide by b. That's the reason why you have that. So basically, this is is here. Now the constant one over b out of the integral over here. Then you're left with this. Now, we are going to uh, call this piece as u, and then second piece here as t. Now, when you see integral of u du, you think of uv minus integral of v du, which is ivp. Or integration by part. Now we have already identified what our u is and what our v is. Using the formula here, you put in u here, v here, v here, and u here. Notice this integral, the original uh, v something comes out and then this goes in. Now let us take the derivative of b. The derivative of t to the power of ax is t power ax times the derivative of ax, which is a dx. I e this is same thing as that. A a constant. You can put it out over here. And now you have this. We are going to push this again into the x. But now that is the original cost is negative sign the vx. The derivative of this is t, so the, uh, there's no negative, so you need a negative. There's no b, you have to divide by b. In the first uh, IBP, we push the cost. Now, the second IBP, we push the sign. And, and this is the same thing. Okay. So let's put a note here. Here to here. Is our first I P P over here over, uh, over over here later you will see is our second I P P. Okay, let us continue. So. Negative 1 over b out, cancel with the negative, you get positive, and then uh, 1 over b times a, you get a over b, and then this is the rest of that. And then, as mentioned just now, this is the, uh, we are going to do the same, uh, treat this as u. Oops, one second. U treat this as B, and now we apply the second I B P. Okay, it is U B minus integral of B D U. Everything so far on B here the same, and then that us. Uh, Sorry, let us distribute this in a over b times this piece 
minus a over b times this integral. The integral, the derivative of c to the power ax is c to the power ax and the derivative of this is here. I e this thing. Sorry, not not the whole thing. This derivative is this. Now we are going to uh, move the constant outside. A times A you get A square, everything is the same. Then you get cos dx d to the power ax dx. If you remove this carefully, this integral is our original. This is what we want to solve. d to the power ax cos dx. And then it happens on, uh, it also uh, recur on this on this here. Let us call the thing that we want i, but don't forget that the thing you want i is also on the left hand side, the original integral. Everything is the same, but now uh, we will call this this whole piece as negative a square o b times i. Move this to the left and combine with the original i. We have one of these, and then we have uh, positive a square over b. You want i. Uh, divide both sides by this vector. And then this piece is the right hand side. The point of time. Therefore, the integral is given by that. Done. Thank you for watching. Hope video is informative and helpful. Before you go, make sure to subscribe, share, comment, and don't forget to hit or smash the like button. Done.